Good readings, gamers. Ryan McCord logging in for the game ref. Dot com. This week, Mortal Kombat Legacy, Episode Five. First, when I logged into Machinima and I saw that this was another Melina and Katana episode, I thought, what the hell? We did this last week, and honestly, despite the new animation, it was a little boring. But, I've got to say, they kind of stepped it up this week. The sibling rivalry was cool. They didn't really show us the costumes again. There we are, not seeing the boobies. But, I did like what I saw in the episode. I'm not familiar with these characters' backstories as much. Didn't really care, but now, hey, what do you know? They're kinda cool. What do we have in gaming news? Gaming news, gaming news. What do we have in gaming news? Gaming news this week. The big this week in games, PlayStation Network still down. Last week I was like, hey, don't criticize PlayStation but the network's still down, so hey, maybe it's time to start. Also, looking at Brink. Kind of excited for Brink to come out. Didn't really know what to expect from it, except that there was some class-based, massive multiplayer, online, first-person shooting action with some interesting wall climb mechanic. But I gotta say, I haven't played it myself, but the overall reviews have not been too great. Of course, I'm not one to judge a game by the reviews. I've always wanted to check it out myself first. So, judge not lest ye be judge. Also, once again, Sony not having the PSN online, not any real reviews for the online content of the game. So, maybe Brink isn't so bad on the PSN, but we will not know for some time. Also noticeable this week in gaming news, LA Noir. I've noticed there are three various pre-order deals with this game, which is kind of interesting. You've got the GameStop pre-order that gives you bonus content. You've got the Best Buy pre-order, which gives you, I don't know, clothing? Hello? Uh, no thanks. And then you've also got Amazon, which actually gives you Amazon bucks, which I could use, because I use Amazon all the time. Very, very exciting. We've got some first impressions of Soul Calibur 5. I'm a huge fan of Soul Calibur series. I love, I love, I love this game. I love fighting with swords. The female models in this game are incredibly hot. Alright, so the preview trailer of Soul Calibur 5 really didn't reveal very much pretty much stock characters and images, but still, getting me really pumped for this game. I love it. I want to swing my giant sword around and kill the crap out of everyone. I love Valdo. He's such a freaking weirdo. What's cooler than running around flipped over backwards with a blindfold on and knives on your hands? I mean, come on! Hey, guess what? Here's a new slash. The Thor game sucks. Wow! Okay, I saw a preview for The Witcher and not even familiar with this series. I did not get the review on this one when it first came out. Didn't really care, didn't really know, wasn't really on my radar, but I saw the preview trailer with the guy with the freaking weird accent. Who knows, don't judge. And it's gorgeous. The game looks beautiful. The shadows, the lighting, the rendering looks amazing. In retro gaming news, Google Chrome browser. Uh, I love this browser. It's sleek, it's clean. There's not a lot of crap cluttering up my freaking toolbar. It's easy to use. I announced that you can play some DOS classics in your browser. We've got DOSBox, which is a fantastic emulator, especially if you love LucasArts, and LucasArts is my heart and soul. Grew up on Maniac Mansion, Secret of Monkey Island, Sam and Max. Oh, I mean, uh, point-and-click adventure games, witty, interesting, difficult, and above all, just freaking funny and off the wall. Love that crap. Love it! So I'm definitely going to be checking that out this week. Now, traditional gamers may laugh, you may scoff. Uh, I'm always poking fun at Tabitha for playing her freaking Farmville and her Frontierville and her whatever vills on Facebook. But, Zynga Baby, developer that brings you these games, worth $10 billion. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, mofos. I hate those games. Time management games drive me crazy. But you know what? Some people love those games, and some people make money off of that. So, hey. More power to you. Forever young, I want to be forever young. In terms of my personal gaming, I've been catching up on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and that brings me to the last item of the day. The announcement that the new Assassin's Creed game is going to be taking place in Constantinople, which is very refreshing. I'm glad to get a taste of some new architecture. You know, it's been awesome running around the streets of Italy and Rome, but come on guys, we need something fresh and fancy and new. But it's interesting because it's taking a place a little bit further down the road, and Ezio, Ezio Auditore, Ezio, you know, Ezio, is going to be significantly older, and he's going to get a grappling hook. We're going to get some geriatric parkour with grappling hook action. Okay, he's not really geriatric, but hey, back in those days, being 50 years old was being way, 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 way over the hill. 
Check out thegamerev.com tomorrow for the season finale of thegamerev.com web series. Favorite, subscribe, like us, tell us what you think, be it good, be it bad, get involved, write a letter to your congressman, and also put a message in a bottle, throw it in the ocean, and mail it to Fiji. That's it for me, folks. This is Ryan McCord, logging off for thegamerev.com. Really missed my calling in life.